I did your handwriting in my book. I'm sure a lot of you are here. What you need to know about yourself is that we each, every single one of us, have talents and abilities. And if we're not positive, we can't achieve what we need. I know very well that as I've gone on in years, because I began as an actress, did you notice? Yeah. I began as an actress and I love the stage. I was 10 years an actress and then I became a producer. And seven and a half years I was a producer, and then I chose a career that I don't even understand how I even went there. Booking agent for sports celebrities. I didn't even know how to swim. And there I was. I figured, if I wanted a job, my father told me that I can do that. So every time I had an interview, that's all I thought. When I used to watch a football game, I had no idea where, how they made a touchdown. Not a clue. And then I became a big agent, so I had 50 yard line seats. So all of a sudden, I learned. I, I thought I was real important, so I better know how they make a touchdown. I think life is, I know for myself, being an only child, it is so important to build your courage. It is so important to make your heart sing. It is so important. We think and we think and we spin and we think and we get nowhere. The more you spin, the less goes on. The more you spin, the less you decide. The more you spin, the, more, the less you resolve. How many of us here want to go through our life not being able to make decisions? No. Nobody. And everyone can make a decision. I mean, you spin, you spin, yes, yes, no, no. Aren't you exhausted when you get through? Yeah. So what you need to know is when you spin, and this is what I do when I come to your school, when you spin, you have to catch yourself. And I've said this to a lot of kids that came to my booth. Is it a mountain or is it a mohill? And if it's a mohill, what are you wasting your energy for? Just get it done. Everything isn't black or white. There, are, there is gray. My father used to say that to me all the time. Sylvia, everything isn't black or white. I never quite understood that. Or Sylvia, you have to be patient. That's not a virtue of mine. But I have learned that there is gray, and I've learned patience. It is so important. 80% of the students that I have coached have problems with feeling good enough. It's all about criticism. It's all about judgment. It's all about extreme expectations and standards. We don't have to go to the extreme. High is good enough, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so important to be able to connect with the people around you. Connect, you're a family. We don't wanna be awfully competitive. It's fine to have challenge, but we have to say nice things to each other. We have to compliment each other. I have a friend, she wouldn't give you a compliment if she died. I mean, I could wear the nicest blouse and the most terrific outfit, and she wouldn't say a word. And you know what? Why not make the next person feel good? Why not say, I think you look great? I mean, what in the world is wrong with that? What is wrong with feeling positive? Do we need all that drama? You want drama? Get on the stage. Don't spin and spin and spin. These dramas get to be part of us, and then we don't know how to get rid of them, don't you think? Yeah. And what you have to say to yourself is, it's something you create. I do leadership. What makes a good leader? A person who believes in himself. I go back to Martin Luther because I was so admiring of him. The man so believed in himself and what he felt. Woo. Right. And it is so important to understand that. You know, 
One thing I know about myself, I practice what I preach. I live the way I talk. And it's been difficult. Nothing's always easy. But I have raised two fabulous kids that love me to death. So I must have done something right. And I don't think and I don't think you have to criticize and judge. Guide. Don't control. How many of you think that control is so important? It's not. I'll speak up. It's not. It is not. Control, as I said to a lot of the kids, control never gives you a day of love and caring. And we all want love. You name me a person that really doesn't want love. But we get so scared, so we build these self-protective walls. How the heck is anyone going to get to know us? How are you going to, they going to approach you or help you? I believe that if we connect with each other and we support each other and we believe in ourselves, there is nothing that we can't do. And the more we woe is me and look down and feel like you're so unhappy, who do you think makes you unhappy? Yourself. Yes, we're, we're all there with circumstances. But who makes you unhappy? Yourself. yourself. You victimize yourself. We all get down. I get down. And then I say, okay. I think about it. I take it inside. And I move on. I mean, we're not given a life to just say, oh my God. When you graduate, you want to have a goal. You want to set a goal. You want to love who you are. So you're going to go out there and do the best you can. The world isn't enough chaos. Woo. And if we don't believe in ourselves with all that's going on, and I'm not going to talk about politics, <laughs> but I'm going to say this. Let us understand that we have one life to live. That's right. That's it. And no matter what, God is watching us. All of us. And we have to believe that. And all I know is, is that when I do all the leadership and I tell leaders, if you believe in yourself, if you have the confidence, if you don't intimidate, if you don't make people feel less than they are, you're a great leader. If you know what you're doing and you have the knowledge and you can impart that knowledge and teach others, you're a great leader. Intimidating leaders aren't nice and we don't work well with them so communication and all of that so i guess they're telling me something here the lights are going down but i thought if i was last i would not be least i want you to come to see me at booth 59 and i want to come to your school i want to teach you to believe in yourself great